simplify and leave your answers with positive exponents. Okay, so we've got to look for things that are the same. So here we have an A to B. Here we have an A to B. Okay, so they need to go together. So on your calculator, you see that this is a minus one. So what is minus one plus two? If you're comfortable with that, you can do it in your head. If you want, you can use your calculator, but it should give you a one. So we have one A to B2. And now here we have an AB2 and here we have another AB2. So let's put them together. What is three take away four? Well, that is minus one. And there we go. Now remember when the, no the number in the front is a one, you don't have to put the one there. So the answer would most likely be written as that. If you leave the one there, it's not wrong, but most teachers will do it like that. And if you are a student that started trying to see what you could take out, or you're trying to see what you can take out, remember that's not simplifying, that's factorizing. This question specifically said simplify.